This video will be helpful for the business who are using Facebook lead ads to advertise and promote their business. Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how you can send messages to Facebook leads automatically. So let's take an example that you are a business owner and you have created a Facebook page to advertise your business and you're running ads on that page. Now, whenever someone clicks on those ads, automatically a Facebook lead ad form will get open. Now, you want that whenever a customer fills that Facebook lead ad form, automatically a message should be sent to the customer. The message can be thank you for filling up the form or we will get back to you or thank you for contacting us or any type of message. For this, we need to create a connection between Facebook lead ads and Gupshup so that whenever the form is filled, automatically a message is sent. So in order to create a connection between both these software applications, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process on my screen. So to start the integration, let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. By clicking on sign up free button, you will get 100 task free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as send messages to Facebook leads automatically. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever a customer fills your Facebook lead ad form, automatically a message should be sent to him. So open this trigger window and here in the choose application, let us find Facebook lead ads. In the trigger event, we have to select new lead. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Authorization successful and now the Facebook lead ads are connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Facebook account. So make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your Facebook account. Now here we have to select the Facebook page. So I have already created some pages in my Facebook account and here we are using this ABX Instrumental Shop Facebook page. So we have to select the same page over here that is ABX Instrumental Shop. Now here we have to select the lead ad form. So I have already created some forms in this particular page. So I am just selecting this musical instrument inquiry form. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up the form on the name of a customer. So I have already opened the form over here. That is musical inst instrumental inquiry form. So let us fill in the details. Let's give the first uh, full name as Adam Smith. Email address as Adam Smith. 123 at the rate gmail.com and let's add the phone number okay and let's click on next and submit thank you for inquiring us so the form has been filled now let's move back to public connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the form submission are captured over here. Here we can form, find the form ID and when we scroll down here we can find the full name of the customer, his email address along with the phone number. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, 
Don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently. The data will surely arrive. So now we want to send a message to this customer using Gupshub. But whenever we are using Gupshub, we are not using this plus sign to send the messages. Means the phone number should not have a plus sign. So we have to remove this plus sign from the phone number which we have received through the Facebook form submission. For that, come to this action window and here in the choose application, let us find text formatter. In the action event, we have to select split text. Click on connect. Now here we have to map the text which needs to be splitted. So we want this phone number to get split in. So let us map the phone number over here from Facebook lead ads. Okay, and this was the phone number. Now what should be the separator? So I want plus to be removed. So I'm just entering the plus sign as a separator. And here we have to select the segment index. So the segment index will be the last over here. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here in the response, we can see that the number is received without the plus sign. So now we want that a message should be sent to the customer via Gupshub. So come to this plus sign and click on add action step. Here in the choose application, let us find Gupshub. In the action event, we have to select send message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the user ID and password. So here you have to enter your account user ID and password and simply click on save. As I have already created a connection, I'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and I'll click on save. And now the Gupshap account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to map the phone number. Let us read the instructions. Enter recipient phone number with country code excluding the plus sign. So as we have already excluded the plus sign using this text formatter, so we are going to map this mobile number now. Okay, so let us map the mobile number of the customer which we have received through Razorpay and we have uh, splitted the plus sign, this mobile number. Now here we have to map the message and the DLT template. For that, I'll just take you to my Gupshop account. So this is my Gupshop dashboard. Here we'll be moving to the SMS section. So to send a message via Gupshop, we need to create a template first and we have to get it approved. So I have already created a basic template. So I'll just move to this DLT template option. And here I have already created a template in the IT category over here. So I'm just going to open this template. Here you can see one, two, three variable. So I have entered a variable. Here we can give the website address. And if you want to enter some other link, you can give it over here. So I'm just entering my website address over here and simply click on OK. And here the message is ready. So I'm just going to copy this message from here and I'll be pasting the same over here in Pabli Connect. Okay. Now it is asking for the DLT template ID. For that we have to go to DLT template once again. And here we can find the template ID. So I'm just going to copy this template ID from here. And I'll be pasting the same over here in Pabli Connect. Now if you want to create a new template, First, you have to select your category of your business, okay? So, uh, for example, if you are creating a template in your health category, you have to come to your health category. Then you have to download an Excel file from here, okay? Click on download Excel as format. So, I have already downloaded a file that is an Excel file. So, in this type of file will get downloaded to your system. Here, you can have to give your template ID, enter the name of the template, enter template content. Temp, uh, DLT message type, message type over here, mask, business category and is transaction. So you have to enter all the details over here and you can select a template in this way as I have created. Hi, here in the variable field, your the customer name is going to reflect. Your order has been confirmed and the order ID is. So here you your order ID can be mapped. Thanks. And here you can give your company name or your business name. So in this way, you can create a message. So once you enter all the details in this particular Excel file, you have to just send it on email it. So you have to send it for the approval. And once it is approved, it will be reflected here. As you can see, my template is getting reflected. In this way, the template will be seen in the category. Okay. So let's move back to public connect and let's click on save and send test request.
Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means a message is delivered to the customer. Let us check it. Okay, and here we can see a new message icon. I'm just going to open it. And here we can see the message. We are offering services. Please click the below link to register. Okay, so I have just added a basic template and the message is delivered to the customer. So you can create a template as per your requirement. Okay. And as we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now we have to check this in the real time whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that we have to go to the Facebook lead ad form once again. And we have to fill up the details on the name of some other customer. Let us give the full name as Shikha Arya. Let us add the email address as Shikha Arya 25 at the rate gmail.com. And let's add the mobile number. Okay, and let's click on next and submit. Thank you for inquiring us. So the form has been filled. Now we have to check the message whether the customer has received any message or not. Okay, and here we can find a new message once again. And here we can see that the message is delivered to the customer. We are offering services. Please click the below link to register. So here I have just created a basic template. You can draft the template as per your requirement. Okay. And in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Facebook lead ads and public connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of the customer through the form submission. And then we have applied the text formatter. Just because for sending the messages via Gupshub, the number, the phone number should not have a plus sign. So we have used the split text option just to uh, remove the plus sign from the number that we have received through the Facebook lead ad form submission. And at last, using Gupshub, we have sent the messages to the customers. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Facebook lead ads and Gupshub using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.